The Packers know they'll go into the 2018 season with Devontae Adams as their well-paid number one wide receiver. As for the rest of the pecking order at the position, almost everything is up in the air. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers' longtime number one, Jordy Nelson, was cut in March. Randall Cobb was retained with one year left on his contract to be the no. Two, but on top of a recent history of durability issues, he's now dealing with a right foot injury from the end of minicamp. Also gone in Green Bay is Jeff Janis. After Adams and Cobb, the veteran holdovers are third-year on drafty Geronimo Allison and second-year fifth-rounder D'Angelo Yancey. Then there are the three rookies the Packers drafted, fourth-rounder Jamon Moore, fifth-rounder Marquez Valdez-Scantling and sixth-rounder Equinemia Street. Brown, there's one more player to consider in the mix, running back Ty Montgomery. With Montgomery healthy again, the Packers want to give him a key role in the passing game. That might mean the just-converted wide receiver will be deployed as a true hybrid player. Between Adams scoring 10 touchdowns last season and new tight end Jimmy Graham matching that number while with Seattle, Green Bay is loaded with red zone pop to aid Rodgers in finishing drives. But what about the other elements Rodgers expects from his receiving core, from consistent slot production to legitimate deep threats? As Adams heads into what should be his best all-around season yet, here is what's behind him. Cobb and Montgomery Cobb has had two consecutive disappointing seasons. Before his current foot ailment, he had battled through back, hamstring, ankle, shoulder and chest injuries of late. When healthy in 2017, Cobb spent more than half of his snaps in the slot. Montgomery also has struggled with durability, with wrist and rib injuries limiting his playing time since 2016. The goal with him, whether it's out of the backfield or from the slot, will be creating mismatches in the open field. Lining him up as a receiver more often will be the better way to get him touches while the rushing duo of Jamal Williams and Aaron Jones handles most of the carries. A lack of quality depth at running back is what prompted the Packers to move Montgomery in the first place. With Williams' power and Jones' well-rounded skill set available, Montgomery can be used more as an inside route running option given the potentially continued ineffectiveness of Cobb. For now, this role defaults to Cobb, assuming he's healthy. Regardless, the key is getting a solid outside threat to line up opposite Adams. 2018 NFL Rankings, QBs, Coaches, GMs, Stadiums Allison and Yancey Allison is the best outside option by default as the next most experienced wideout but his 343 snaps last season were fewer than half as many as Nelson, Adams and Cobb each played. Over two seasons, Allison has only 35 catches for 457 yards and two TDs. Yancey, after being waived from the roster before his rookie season, spent 2017 on the practice squad. Allison has hinted at an ability to be a downfield playmaker with his size, 6'3", 202 pounds, and speed. He also has shown a decent connection with Rodgers, including a six-catch, 122-yard game against the Bengals in Week 3 last year. Even if Allison does not nail down the number 3 receiver job, he will still make the team and be a factor when it spreads the field. Yancey, with limited standout skills, faces another uphill battle to avoid being cut as a higher upside rookie trio works into the offense. More, Valdez Scantling and St. Brown One thing all three rookies have in common is size. More, 6 to 3, 205 pounds, Valdez Scantling, 6 to 4, 206 pounds, and Brown, 6 to 5, 214 pounds, all add to the new land of giants in Green Bay with Adams and Graham.
Valdez Scantling has the most speed, but he's raw as a vertical threat. St. Brown has the best pedigree, but he's inconsistent. Moore has had the most production, but he needs to work on being more physical as a pass catcher and more smooth as a route runner. Any and all have the makeup to be special in time. But in order to contribute with a significant role soon, each will need to build immediate chemistry with Rodgers and provide consistency in an outside role. With Valdez Scantling appearing to be more of a project, the battle will be between Allison, Moore and Street. Brown for the fourth most offensive snaps after Adams, Cobb and Montgomery. The Packers needed to reboot their size and speed after Nelson, 6'3", 215 pounds, finally slowed down from the track star he once was. They have undergone this type of transition with Rodgers receivers before, starting with Nelson and Cobb grabbing the torch from Greg Jennings and Donald Driver. In 2014, the Packers drafted Adams early and then Janice and Jared Abriderus late. In 2015, it was Montgomery as the lone selection at the position. In 2016, they took a shot on Trevor Davis and signed Allison. Last year, Yancey and Malkahi Dupree were the day three flyers. Adams was a big hit, and Montgomery is on the verge of becoming another success in a different way. Between Allison and the talented rookies, the Packers have given themselves what they usually give themselves, viable options. The Packers will settle on the most impactful group for 2018 with major input from Rodgers. The potential versatility and home run ability should please the QB as he spreads the ball efficiently across the field better than he could early last season.